back in the day, IT used to hold the keys to the kingdom and everything tended to be centralized. Well, that works pretty well until you end up with too many SaaS applications, too many business processes that need to be automated, that IT cannot really keep pace. Another model that we've seen is more of a decentralized model, where it's akin to the Wild West, where everyone is coming in and building integrations. Uh, there's no master plan per se. Uh, so it's very uh, reactive, it's fluid, but ultimately it's also not gonna scale. So it's good for a certain phase within a company's um, lifespan, but at some point uh, definitely is not gonna scale. The model that we see more and more today, and of course the model that we promote is what we call a federated model. As the name implies, a federated model is uh, designed such that certain key processes are owned in a centralized fashion, typically by IT or ops. So the, the quote to cash business process that we talked about is a typical process since it's cross-departmental, touches so many different facets of a business. That's centralized, but there might be some other business process that needs to be automated that's fairly localized that can be done by um, different teams at a departmental level, line of business level, so on and so forth. And so the bottom line is the federated model gives you the, the best of both worlds, right? It allows centralization, but it also increases the number of folks in the enterprise that can touch and build and manage and maintain integrations, and it gives you this best